the fuck is up, my bitches? If you are new here, hello, my name is Brittany. We're not judging the hair today, okay, guys? <laughs> I'm like, only me would come on camera looking like a hot ass mess. But today we are going to do just a full face, get ready with me using all or almost all the shit that I got at Sephora. So if you guys missed it, I did my, I think it was my last video was my Sephora haul. I do have other things like hair care, skincare, and stuff like that in that video. So if you guys want to go check it out, you could always go check that out after. But I'm going to focus on all of the makeup products because some of these I've used, some of them I haven't used. And it's just gonna be a chill, happy Sunday little get ready with me. So that's what we're gonna do today. Little friendly reminder, if you guys have not shopped the sale yet, if you are interested in anything that I showcase today or anything like that, there is one day left. Today and tomorrow are the last days of the Sephora sale. And I have some thoughts on some of these products because I have been using them basically every time that I've done my makeup since I've gotten these. So here's your friendly reminder. We'll see if I end up picking up anything else. <laughs> so let's dive into it first. I'm going to start with the eyes. I already have my eye primer on. <laughs> I look crazy. Oh my God. I can't even with myself. So I picked up the, I'm looking, hold on. Let's adjust a little bit because I'm looking very bright. It's, I mean, I'm so used to filming during the nighttime. So I picked up the new Rare Beauty. You guys will get it, okay? It's white. It always causes like a flashback or it just... It looks weird whenever I show white or light products. It just like throws off the white balance on my camera. It's just a thing. I feel like you guys all know <laughs> by now. So I picked up the new Rare Beauty eyeshadow palette. So this is the True to Myself eyeshadow palette. And you know what? I was like... This is a color story that I could get down with. Okay, we're looking we're looking pretty realistic on, on the screen, so we're good. So this is basically Rare Beauty's first neutral palette, which I'm a big fan of neutrals if you guys are new here. I'm, I mean, I love eyeshadow palettes. I love colorful. I love everything. But my heart truly stands with the neutral. So I picked up this palette and also the Melt Cosmetics, the Mary Jane palette. If you guys want to see a video on that as well, let me know and I could definitely do that. But this one was the newer of the two. And I was like, all right, this packaging, I wasn't expecting it. It has like a dish sort of a vibe. <laughs> it's so, it's so different. But I, I guess this was designed to be able to like stack things on top of it. I feel like if, if your palette's flat, it could have things stacked on top of it. I think that was kind of like a marketing thing, but it almost reminds me of like a jewelry dish because it has the edges that come up. It's very, very different for my collection and it has like the plastic type, or not applicator, the plastic type packaging. So this color story, it really spoke to me and I heard a lot of great things about the Rare Beauty formula with their last palette launches, but they were more on the colorful side and that's not, that's not just my wheelhouse, if you will. Like, I love and appreciate some colorful eyeshadows. Where is my refer brush? Like, I'm missing brushes. That's what I'm looking for right now. There it is. I, like, it's just a different thing. I say this all the time in my videos. I'm like, it's just different types of compliments that I get when I use neutrals. So that's what we're going to do today. Holly's asking, what is my favorite neutral eyeshadow palette? I did have palette rankings. When did I do that? I think in January, I ranked all of my neutral eye palettes. I did that with uh, Morgan Turner. We did a collab on that. I don't know if it's changed since then, but I also forgot to include, I think in that video, I forgot to include my um, Artist Couture Supreme Nudes. That's one of my favorites. You'll have to watch that video. I can't even remember. I have a lot of favorite neutral palettes. <laughs> That's odd packaging. Yeah, it's yes, yeah, it reminds you of a dish soap. Totally. Totally. <laughs> all right, let me try. I'm going to use my refer number two first. I tried wiping it off to get all the stuff off of here. I want to go in first with, I keep looking at this purple shade right here. I'm going to try this one and I'm going to push this on my crease. Now, I know a lot of people weren't loving the whole aesthetic with the eyeshadow, like the pans being like half moons. All right, let's, let's see how this works, though. I personally didn't mind it. The main reason that I wanted to get this palette, though, is because of the rave reviews that I heard about their original palettes, which were, I think they were holiday, and they were really colorful, and they were all, I think it was, like, all metallics. I like the fact that this has one, two, three mattes. It looks like two shimmers, 
one I would say like a metallic and then the biggest pan like this one here looks like a pressed glitter but I haven't wow I haven't touched any of these yet so these two here look like I would say satins this one's a matte this one looks like probably like a satin metallic I'm gonna call it and then these two here are mattes as well I just like that it has that variety within this palette versus the original ones I didn't see a big variety within the textures of the eyeshadows I feel like I'm still like asleep, guys. I slept extra long today because I start overnights tonight and I just feel like I'm not on my game, but whatever. You guys signed up for this Hot Mess Express, am I right? So I'm just pushing this in. It's got nice pigmentation. It's a more like soft formula, it feels like. It's kind of reminding me of like a makeup geek. I haven't touched these with my finger. I'm just kind of going by how these are applying. But it's like the pigmentation's there. It's just more of like a, a purpley, like purplish grayish is how I would explain that shade right there. But it's cute. I'm not mad at it. Let me go in. I'm going to take my refer number 13. I'm going to use this like peachy shade right here. I always do the same type of looks, guys. I know. It's just what's flattering on my eye shape. Let's see what you guys are saying in the live chat. What's everybody up to? Happy Sunday, everybody. I can't believe it's already fucking Sunday. My day's off this week went by way too fast. Way too fast. This one doesn't have as much pigmentation. Hold on, let me go in again. This shade, oh, there we go. I say this shade looks very light. Do you guys like these types of like get ready with me's? I feel like you guys do. That way you could at least see the products all in action. And I'm just trying to blend that edge there so it doesn't look super harsh. I don't know if I like if I like this shade though. Whatever, we'll make it work. But it's get it. I don't know. It's not blending it like I like it to. This shade feels like a little bit stiffer as well. I say feel. I'm saying it like the way that it appears on my brush when I pick it up. Like when I would stick my brush in the purple shade, it had a little bit of kick up, but it actually like took to the brush. This peachy shade, it's not really taking without me actually going in consistently with it. And then there's not, I mean, it's very soft, but I don't know. I'm not getting like the, the blend that I like. It's not really working well with that purple shade, whatever. We'll carry on. It's like, it's nice, but I don't know how I feel about that shade there. I'll come back to that aspect let me go in i'm like dying to use that the gold that's in the middle this one here is just like speaking my name i'm gonna go in first though with this matte shade here and put this on my outer corner this is just what i always do it's my jam and i go back to the refer number two do we have anything exciting going on did anything fun and exciting happen on the weekend i went four-wheeling yesterday so that was fun for me we went four-wheeling. Oh, my God. What a day it was, though. Because <laughs> we drove up, like, probably, like, an hour away from our house. And we get all the way up there, and my brother-in-law forgot our keys to the, to the machines. <laughs> so we had to drive all... Well, he had to drive all the way back because Shannon had his, his spare with him. But with the spare, you can only go 25. <laughs> so we were going 25 on our four-wheeler for, like, three hours. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Any chance of the purchase in the live chat? I have the Huda Mercury Retrograde. It's on sale and I'm trying to figure out if it's worth. I, I've heard really great things about that. How much is it on sale for? That might be something that I pick up because if it's on sale and then, is it on sale on Sephora? Because if it's on sale and then getting the extra discount on top of that, I might be placing another order. I know that's an older palette, but I have lusted over that palette. Like, I almost bought it when it dropped, and I never did. And I've always just kind of gawked over it for the longest time. I do that all the time with the Huda palettes. I have heard, though, that her bigger palettes are better than her minis because they're usually made in Italy. You guys can't see the video? Weird. Try closing it out and then coming back in. Let's see. I bought full price, and it's worth it then. Duff on sale. Woo! shit $47 it's worth the full price oh, fuck you guys are gonna make me baby <laughs> you guys are gonna make me buy another fucking eyeshadow palette god dang you all right I'm gonna take this gold shade here oh this is definitely it's a press glitter 
<laughs> I don't love pressed glitters, but I could get down with them once in a while. But that's going to be such a turnoff for so many people, but that's pretty, though. That's pretty. And I don't have, like, a glitter glue down or anything like that. I hate using glitter glues. This has, like, a tack to it, so I feel like it will actually stick to my eye. That's pretty. I ain't mad at it. Okay, at first I was like, um... But pressed glitters, like, I I think there's an, a time and a place for them. I do like pressed glitters because, like, your regular, like, loose glitters, they're so fucking messy. So, so messy. And with these, it's just, it makes it easier. It takes, like, the glue and everything out of it. I like this formula as far as, like, how it has that stick to it. But if you don't like pressed glitters automatically, you're going to be like, no, this is not a palette for me. I'm trying to get it on my inner corner. And I just like using my my fingers for pressed glitters. I know you can use brushes and shit like that. Like, I usually use my ESMW21, but it usually applies things too, like, chunky. Whereas with my finger, I'm just, I have the ability to kind of smooth everything over. That glitter is pretty. I'll give you guys a swatch. I should probably swatch this for you guys as well. But this is a nice formula. Look, look how reflective. I like that. I'm telling you, it's got that like stick to it. I'm into that. Okay, I'm not mad anymore. <laughs> Let's see, you would rock the Mercury Retrograde palette. Yes. <sighs> Maybe I'll end up getting it then. Picked up the Tower 28 cream blush. On your recommendation? Yes! Oh my god, did any, okay, I want to know, what did you guys get? Because I'm a nosy bitch. I love knowing what people buy. Let me know what you guys got for the Sephora sale. I'm very intrigued. All right, let me give you, I'll do a swatch of the palette itself, just so you guys could see everything. So like, hold on, let me make sure this is dry a little bit more. So this shade here, I do like this formula and this texture, but the peach shade, it's not as... Like, it's soft, but there's not as much to it. It's going to look very, like, these swatches are not going to be anything extraordinary. This is going to be your, like, basic, super basic-ass palette. This is a dual chrome, guys. Oh, bitch, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You could see it. See it right there, how it's orange? Oh! Oh, my God, that? I'm pissed I didn't put that on my eyeball. You usually can't see the shift that well either. Look at that. I might even call that a multi-chrome. Because I see like gold, orange, red, like a reddish pink. I'm going to say that's a multi-chrome. Because I see a lot of different shit. I even see like almost like a slight green. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. That's exciting. All right, let's go back to the pressed glitter. I'll throw that in here. But I will say, though, these are, like, very, very soft. That glitter is beautiful. Mmm. Let's go in with the deeper. I'm going to this is, like, a brownish. I'm going to say it almost has, like, a purplish undertone to it. The mattes do feel nice. Like, as far as the texture, like, they do feel very soft. This is the, I'm going to call this, like, kind of like a highlighter shade, even though I think it's going to be a little bit too deep for a highlight on me. Oh my, I'm like so shook that there was a freaking multi-chrome in there. I was not expecting that. And then this is the gold on the end. I'm just going to run this one on the side because I'm running out of room. And I don't think you'll be able to see it over my, my tattoos. So there's swatches of the new Rare Beauty palette. It's 29 bucks. I cannot wait to put that multi-chrome over my fucking eyeball. I'm so mad that I didn't use that today. But this one right here, like, there's literally multi-chromes out there that go for, like, 25 bucks a piece. So, <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, my third round of shopping, I grabbed the Sol de Janeiro, the Bomb Dia Cream, Patrick Star Primer, and Patrick Star Makeup Remover Spray. It's perfection for lazy days. Yes! Veronica says, I love Mercury Retrograde. I got it for 30% off last summer. Nice. It's always a win when you get good products at a discount. I might end up getting that. Why am I putting this away? I still need to do my under eyes. I'm like, I am so out of it today, guys. I apologize to anybody watching the playback because I am a hot ass mess right now. 
<laughs> I'm going to come back to the eyes because I usually do like my face makeup and then I like to do my under eyes just because I use my like lower lash line shadows basically to like help set my concealer because I don't like to use a lot of of setting powder on my under eyes anymore just because it just draws more attention to the fine lines and ain't nobody trying to have that as a vibe. Okay. I'll keep you guys posted the more that I use that, but next time I use this palette, I'm definitely going to use that multi-chrome because wowza. Like, why, why don't these brands, like, come out and say that shit? Like, maybe it's just, like, a marketing thing, like, Maybe they're like, oh, maybe people will notice and say it themselves. Like, I don't know. Especially right now, this hair is going up. I can't. I need to wash my hair. <laughs> Let's see. We need to see the multi-chrome on the lid. I know. I know. All right. This is what you guys are getting. Okay. This is what you're getting. And that's just how it's going to be. Let's move on to the face. So I picked up also the Rare Beauty. This is the Pore Filler Primer. It's got a different name, but it's the... Like, same packaging as the original, but the formula is just different. So this is going to have a more, like, blurring, a blurring vibe to it. And let me tell you guys, this definitely does help blur the imperfections on your face. The texture of this is really nice. It feels like it's got, like, a slip and slide to it. So I, I don't think a lot of people will love that. But anytime pore filler primers come out. I am always interested because I have the texture. I have large pores in this area specifically right here. So I love primers like this and I feel like it feels hydrating that I could use this by itself and this would be the only primer that I would need. A lot of the time, especially with pore filler primers, I feel like I need to grab for another one. Whereas with this one, I'm like, no, I think, I think I'm good with just this one. So I'm going to go in next with, I picked up these, this was before the sale technically. I've talked a lot about these in previous videos. These Patrick Ta for face. These are the Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duos. I'm going to use some of this today because I want you guys to see, I'm going to use the shade Medium since using both of them, because I have the lightest in the medium shade. I do prefer the medium shade. And I think that these undertones are just perfect because I, I cannot typically do like a, a really intense grayscale contour. It just looks like I threw mud on my face. Whereas with this contour, it has, I think, a perfect balance between cool and warmth. If anything, I would say this is pretty neutral. And I'm using this new Makeup Geek. This is the angled stippling brush, I think. The more that I'm using this, the more that I'm enjoying it for basically like an all over type of brush. But I'll show you guys how I use it today. I really like this for like complexion just because it allows me to get more coverage in areas because it is a little bit more dense than my typical like BK Beauty 101. So I have been reaching for this since I got it. Oh, I almost bought that primer. I think it's nice. It's not like... At least not yet it's not. I'm not noticing like it's like blowing other primers away. But it's still like it's nice. And the main thing that I like about it, like, like basically how I explain the Patrick Star, the one size one. I feel like I can't use that primer by itself. I have to use other primers with it because it is a little bit more drying on my skin. I don't have to do that. So that is more worth my while I think. And then just seeing how it worked with my other, uh, like my foundations and stuff. We'll see how it works with the Shiseido because that's what I'm going to use today. Like, I just think this looks like a natural sort of a contour. I need to find though, I don't think this is the best brush for it, but this formula, I do find that I have to kind of like work my brush into it. When you use your finger, it, I mean, it feels, it feels very much similar to his, like, cream blushes. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't feel like I'm at all with it today, guys. I apologize. <laughs> so that's the swatch of the contour. I think it's a great balance for me just because I can't use like super cool tones. I was expecting these to be a little bit more cool tone, but I'm so glad that they're not because I could use the lightest and the medium shade. I was going to dedicate a video to these, but I feel like we're past that point, guys. I'm not going to lie because 
there were so many videos. Like, so many videos came out so quickly on these. And I'm like, all right, I feel like if I was going to do it, I should have done it already. <laughs> And I just didn't get there. So this product, I'm here for it so far. I like this packaging. I like the bronzer in this as well. But I am going to use a different bronzer today because I'm so glad that I finally got the Gucci, the Gucci bronzer. And I also want to use another cream bronzer as well from Tower 28. Okay, let me go in because I forgot to do it. I got too far ahead of myself. I'm going to throw on some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is the creamy version. I didn't pick this up at Sephora, but I picked this up at Ulta when it was on sale for, I think it was like half price. And I'm, listen, I'm very happy with this. I think this is so much better than the original. Just because I have that texture and it has that great coverage that I feel like people remember from the Shape Tape but it's so much more flattering because it's not so heavy. This is where I really like this brush because it allows me to get a little bit more coverage because of the density of it. I feel like sometimes the BK 101, it does sheer it out a little bit, but I mean, this has coverage, like no matter which way you look at it, because hello pigmentation. But I will say though, this definitely does need to be set, at least on me it does, because it will definitely crease. How does anyone feel about the Shiseido skincare? I haven't tried a ton of it. I mean, I love their facial cottons. Those are bomb.com. But as far as like their skincare, I'm always like, it's fine. But Tatcha has my heart for skincare though. I'm not going to lie. Can't lie. Oh, Karen Harris is here. Karen. I got the light and medium and feel the medium bronzer undertone is too red, at least on my skin tone. See, I like a more like orangey red tone bronzer because I like to get a lot of warmth. I don't feel like it's too red tone on me, but I could see what you're saying though. I feel like if you're lighter skin than I am, it probably would pull a lot more red. I feel like I have, I mean, my skin is still like light, medium, neutral undertones right now, but I do feel like if I was pretty much like any lighter, it probably wouldn't work for me. Have I tried Wayne's bronzers? I have. I, tr I was actually wearing it yesterday. Or no, my last video was Hermes. So my Sephora haul was the video before that. I was wearing the Wayne Goss in my Hermes video. And I can't say I'm very impressed. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't think that they look the best on me because his lean a lot more cool than, say, the Patrick Ta do. So that's just one thing I was like, I don't know. I got to keep trying it, but I did. I did use it for the first time yesterday. Oh, I'm so happy Sephora started carrying Paula's Choice. I hear so many great things about Paula's Choice, but I haven't tried any myself. I'm going to go on next with my Shiseido, the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation Oil-Free Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. I've heard so many so many good things about this foundation. I'm like, I always have to make sure because I always go to pump it like towards the back. You have to really get your finger over the top. And I like how this twists to lock it. So I'm going to still use the Makeup Geek brush and I'm just going to apply this how I normally do. I think this is a pretty good match for me. But guys, I honestly, I haven't really been using foundation that much lately. I've just been doing this step with my concealer. And I'm like, why do I keep buying foundations if I'm doing my face like that? <laughs> So I'm just going to carve basically underneath that contour. I'm going to go over it a little bit because it is looking a little bit harsh. I want it to look a little bit more natural. There we go. Snatural, if you will. Oh, let's see. Let's see what you guys are saying in the live chat. Hi, John VA. John VA always comes up in here. So this is one thing I like about this brush. I like this about the BK brush too. It's like I could get that nice precise line and then just kind of blend it in. But then I go over it when I don't have as much product on my brush because I want it to look just a little bit softer. I feel like I look so light right now. How does it look on your guys' end? Like I said, I'm so used to filming in the dark. So my settings might be a little bit off for during the daytime. I'll be live tomorrow in the daytime as well. Like... You always know when I'm on overnights because I'm not live at like 8, 8.30 at night. <laughs> Whenever I'm live in the afternoon, it's because I'm on overnights and it's physically impossible for me to be live during the day. 
But I think I could see myself doing more like morning videos in the future just because I want to get on a like a better schedule, like actually getting up early. And then I also want to just like make use out of the makeup that I'm actually using. Like whenever I do my makeup at night, I'm just taking it right off and I'm not being able to do like wear tests or anything like that. This foundation, it looks nice. It looks very skin-like, but I think it has more of like a, it's giving me a more matte vibe, like a mattifying vibe. But the finish on it looks, I think like a, your skin, like I could still see like the texture on my face, like going back to the primer, like you could still see my pores, but I think it does look more smooth than like if I didn't use a primer, you know? Boom. Oh, who's going shopping? Yes. <laughs> Bye. Have fun shopping. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think about this time as well, too. I was going to go live at four today, but I'm like, you know what? I need I need to get my life together. I needed some sort of like motivation today to just get my ass in gear, man. I'm telling you, I just don't feel like myself today. I'm hot. I'm on fire right now. <laughs> All right, so this foundation, it definitely looks more flat. I think this would be most ideal for me for like, I would, huh? I don't know. Here's my thought process going into it because I'm like, I feel like this would be finish wise, like a, like if I had an event or something, but then I'm like, it has SPF 30. So don't necessarily want that for, <laughs> for a, an event because at an event, you're most likely to get like your pictures and shit taken and SPF 30, hello flashback. So I don't, I'll have to keep playing with this one. Cause that's one thing like, I'm kind of surprised at myself for buying this foundation but my friend Mo's responsible for it because I know that I don't love foundations that have SPF in them. I'm trying to adjust my settings a little bit because I just look so, that looks a little bit better. That looks a little bit more realistic. I just feel like I usually don't gravitate towards foundations with SPF in it. So I'll keep you guys posted, but is it like knocking my socks off? Not from like first impression, just applying it to my face. Like it looks nice, but it's that SPF 30 that kind of makes me nervous just because when I'm wearing makeup, I usually plan to get pictures taken of myself. Does that make sense? Let's move on to bronzer. I'm going to try, I got the new, I didn't buy these, but these were sent to me by Tower 28. I want to try these new shades of the Bronzino bronzers. So they sent me the Suncoast shade. I feel like this is going to be so pretty for a highlight. And then Gold Coast as well. I just want to try these because I love the shade West Coast so much that I want to try all of them. Oh, shit. Doing great drinking my second cup of coffee. How are you? Yes. God, can't wait to have coffee. I'm trying to wait until like four to have my coffee. I think that's why I'm like so off right now. But I'm doing great, sweetie. <laughs> Hi, India. I know, we've missed you. All right, so I'm using my Luxie 512. I like this one because it's a little bit more precise and it's not as dense as that Makeup Geek, but I think I could still use the Makeup Geek with this product. I'm still deciding what I feel about that brush though. It reminds me of like an angled version of the Sigma F80 with like the density and everything. So I think this would be still a bronzer. This is the shade, what was it, Gold Coast? Yes, Gold Coast. This one I think would still work. It's just not as deep as I personally like it, but if you want something a little bit more natural for my skin tone, what was that foundation shade? I picked up 320 Pine in the Shiseido. So I think if you are someone that likes a little bit more of a natural shade, I'm just like, give me the bronzy life. Give it all to me. But this shade still looks nice. I think this looks better than I was expecting because it looks very golden. So I didn't know how I would love that on my skin tone, but it does look very, very nice. Oh, shit. Hi, Kelly. I had to put Brie down for a nap, but I'm back. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh, my God. There's 139 people watching. Hi, everyone. I didn't, I don't have my thing on my screen. Wow. I wasn't expecting this many people to be 
to be with us today at one o'clock in the afternoon, but hi. I promise to anybody new, I'm usually not this much of a space cadet, but today I'm just like in my own little world. <laughs> oh, let's see. I feel like Karen, she said that's what I need, a nap. I feel like I feel like I do too, just because of how off I feel, but whatever. We'll carry on. I swear I live majority of my life in like autopilot mode anyways. <laughs> What's one more day? <laughs> oh, I'm just using this all around the perimeters as well. I just like that golden tone all over my face. So I think this for me, I think West Coast would still be my preference. But she's still cute though. She's still cute. Now... Let's try Sunco. So this one I'm going to try to focus a little bit higher because I do feel like this would be such a pretty highlighter shade, but I don't know how much it's really going to show up. I feel like I should probably use my finger, but whatever. This brush is still working because it just has the most beautiful luminescence to it. I mean, you could kind of see it, but I don't know... I don't know I would say that this is like my favorite highlighter of all time. Like the highlighter that's winning for me for like cream liquid is the Auric. The Auric Glow Lust in Morganite is perfection. It's so, so pretty. This hair, I cannot. <laughs> Hot ass mess express all aboard everybody. It's so cute though. Like it gives a very light, I think, a light reflect I see it though. I see like almost like you see the reflection from the luminescence or the radiance because it does have those like it's got those reflective properties to it. But then this is my favorite thing about these is they make your skin just look wet. And I love that, especially for spring and summer. That's why I'm always like shoving these down your throat. I do think, though, that Gold Coast is a little bit lighter than I typically like. But I could still get down with it. Oh my god, Hawaii sounds fabulous. <laughs> I would love to go to Hawaii. I cannot wait. We're going to Florida in like two weeks. And I can't wait. Three weeks, I think. I can't wait to get on vacation. Oh my god, so excited. All right, now, Karen Harris is responsible for this one because she shamed me for not supporting... <laughs> I'm just kidding. For not buying Hourglass because I love Hourglass. I love all their, like almost all their products. They just are incredible. They're, I should say this, their powder products are incredible. Those are like some of, if you were to go and ask me in my collection, what are your favorite of this type of product? Their favorite of this. There's a very good chance I'm going to say Hourglass because I just think their powders look spectacular on my textured skin. So when they launched these, and I'm such a fan of cream blushes, Karen was like, Brittany, I can't believe you're not gonna get the cream blush. I mean, what are you doing? So she got this one too. <laughs> and she's like, all right, you need to try this. I think you're really gonna like it. So she peer pressured me into buying this. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Karen, I love you. So I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna basically apply it to the brush and then dab it on my hand. I have the shade Revel and then this is the BK 106. Yes, 106. Because what really intrigued me about this formula was it's supposed to be flattering. It's supposed to give you like a pore minimizing effect. I think I should have used my 512 because this brush is slightly too big for me. Tell me that this is not like sunburnt in a blush though. We'll come back and fix it because it is a little bit out of control. This is why I always say, like, I love this brush, but I wish that there was just a smaller version just to be a little bit more precise. Like, even the Luxie 512, it's like, that brush is so good, but it's not dense enough. So this is definitely, like, I just got sunburnt. I just got off the boat. I'm living my best life. Shade is, is beautiful. I don't think I, I don't like this brush. It's because it's so pigmented. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, let's go back to my Makeup Geek brush and just kind of perfect everything a little bit more because this still has like a little bit of like concealer and foundation just because I go a little overboard, you know? So it's like you just run this over. This is like a fix your fuck ups little lesson right here. 
just run it over everything that you applied and it just kind of marries everything and makes it look a little bit more natural. Like that does look like a beautiful shade. It gives me the vibes that I like, especially in a cream blush, except it doesn't give you that sheen. This looks like this Patrick Ta contour looks terrible today. What's up with that? Like it just looks super patchy right there. It doesn't look as bad on this side. Maybe I just didn't blend it as good, but it usually looks a lot better than that. So here's my thing. I think this is a beautiful shade. This wouldn't be a collection though. This is just based off of me using this for my first time. I don't think this would be a cream product that I would buy like all of them. I'm glad that I have the one shade, but I like that. I like that wet look. That's why I love the Tower 28 ones is because they give the most beautiful sheen and they just make your skin look wet and moist. And I'm just like, yes, I love that. This is going to be a lot more skin like, which I do like. Like it, it looks, I look so different in real life. Like it's the settings today. It's because I'm in the daytime. I know it. I know it. But that shade is beautiful. Like on my hand, it looks like it's got that natural finish. So maybe I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a sucker for my Tower 28. But it just, it has, I feel like, something missing for me. I need to look at this side because that other, like, I just get so distracted by this contour over here. Let's try to fix that. What the fuck? <laughs> this is where I'm like, some people probably hate these types of videos because it's just all over the place. I'm a mess. Okay, let's keep going because maybe in the end, maybe like as it kind of works with my skin, I can't with this contour. Like even, all right, so even look at right here. I feel like it like sticks in certain spots because I, I noticed that when I swatched it on my hand the other day, it doesn't blend out perfectly. Like I feel like it has like a slight patchiness to it. And I'm noticing it like, I just notice it especially right here. And then there's like nothing right here. Let's try to fix it, hold on. This is like the, this is the process I guess that I go through in my brain. Let me, let me use that BK or the, <sighs> take a breath Brit. Oh my God, I was supposed to use this fucking brush too. I'm a mess. I'm, where did my Lexi 512 go? I literally have two of them. It's literally in front of my face. I'm going to try this brush because I think this one might work a little bit better because it is more precise. I will. Karen said update us on the, give us an update on the Instagram later. I'll probably update like the more that I wear it. Because I, I literally have to work tonight so I won't have this on for very long. <laughs> I need to fix this part right here. Yeah, I do. I like this brush so much better. This brush is winning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A little bit more. Let's look very sunburnt today. Yeah, like that shade is so pretty. I'll keep you guys posted the more that I use it, but I do think, though, it does have that blurring, that blurring effect to it, and the shade is really beautiful. I'll give you guys a swatch of the shade just so you guys could see it. Like, that as a lip product would be everything. But let me show you what I was talking about. Like when I blend it on my hand, it has like a cream to a powder finish. Or formula, I should say. It's like when I see it like that, it, see how it has like the patchiness to it? I even noticed that a little bit on my face as well. I think it's just, I think this is what it is. There's just other formulas that I like better. And for $49, I'm like, um, that's where I'm at. <laughs> Your coworkers will love this natural makeup look. Oh my god, I would get roasted so hard if I showed up to work in makeup. But you know what the best part would be? Is nobody would probably recognize me. <laughs> Trust me, it's happened. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to do, I need to do some powder. I didn't buy any setting powder during the sale, but I'm going to use just my Gucci. Because we bougie AF. Like my, my haul... My haul was bougie, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to use the Gucci powder in the shade number six. And I'm going to use this big ass refer number 25. I love this brush for this purpose right here. I'm just like, yup, yup. I like to do powder over the creams 
Sometimes I reverse it. Sometimes I'll do like the powders first and then the creams on top. So you get that beautiful finish from the creams. But today I switched it and reversed it. So bam. I always hear people say things blur out their face and I never see it, but the blush on my face was shook. Yeah, I totally agree. Like there's, and I feel like, you know what? Hourglass is one of those brands that always has that effect on me. I feel like they just have something so spectacular in their formulas. Don't get me wrong. Their shade ranges aren't always the best. But you know what? Their products, like, when they're good, they're really fucking good. So that's my my thoughts. But their powders are what, like, take the cake for me. I love their powder products. So I'm all powdered. We're good there. Let's go in. I've wanted this for so long. And I finally have it, guys. The Gucci bronzer. This is what I'm talking about when I love, like, a more warm bronzer. Because it just brings life to my face. Like, I could easily get away with just keeping my face like this. But I'm like, no. No. We want more. We want more bronze. That's just what I like. Let's see. Christy said, even though the hourglass blush isn't dewy, that color looks amazing on you. Yeah, like, I totally love the color. It's just, I think, I love the color, but I love other formulas more. I'm glad that I have it because I do think it's unique for my collection because I it's it's like a it's a classic like red that is a beautiful shade for like that sunburnt look see just ugh, I love a heavy bronze love it let's go in this hairline bronze a little bit more up here snatch the five head that I've got going on bring it down a little bit what are we thinking so far? Are there any products that I've tried so far that you're like, oh, shit, that looks nice. Or, oh, shit, that looks real bad. <laughs> Brie got me. You're picking up what I'm putting down. You are picking up what I'm putting down. Alex asked, what do I do for work? I work as a crane operator. I pick things up and I put them down is what I always tell people. But I work for a steel company. So I'm like the middleman between both sides. My skin does look hella, hella snatched on camera right now. This is the interesting part of like makeup reviews and everything is how things look on camera versus how they look in real life. I feel like my skin definitely looks smoother on camera than it does in real life, but I'm only noticing it really in this area where my pores, I feel like are still accentuated. Like right in this area though, she looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. This hair, not so much though. Little update, I did I did dye my hair using the brand Mondo hair. That was exciting. I don't have my full thoughts on it yet, but first impression of the brand Mondo hair, I'm like, I think she's a little too expensive. Not gonna lie. All right, let's keep it pushing. Did I have a highlighter? I don't think I did. I didn't buy, wow, I didn't buy any face highlighters during the sale. Mark that down on our calendars, guys, because I feel like I'm always buying highlighters. Let's see. Which highlighter is new that I want? Actually, you know what? I want to use this because I don't use this enough, and I talked mad shit on this when I first got it. The Charlotte Tilbury, the Superstar Glow Highlighter. I talked mad shit on this, and I've just gained, like, a whole different appreciation for this highlight. I think it could have definitely been, like, a mini size. That would have been fabulous. <laughs> but, um... If you have textured skin, and if you want something that is more natural, like this highlighter is a very natural, it's almost like a pinky peach highlight, but it doesn't accentuate my texture. This is a beautiful everyday sort of a highlighter. But I was like, listen, it's $55. I don't know if I get down with that, but... My, my thoughts on it have changed a little bit. I do think it is. I still think it's overpriced. But for the amount that you're getting, it, not really. I just wish that she did a smaller size in this. Because the reality is, like, I'm never going to go through this. Is it my favorite highlighter? No. But I don't show it enough love. And again, I talked mad shit on it. <laughs> so that was the Charlotte Tilbury highlight. That was all that I got for, I think, complexion. There. That was, oh, wait, you know what? I wanted to use this again because I was so shook at this fucking blush yesterday. Was, no, it was the day before, Friday. I did a video on the Hermes blushes, guys. And this shade just stole my fucking heart. So I'm like, I want to use it again. So this is the shade Rose Blush 
Number 23. These are $70 on Selfridges. They're so expensive, but this shade, I love it. I love this shade for me. I'm just using all the new shit today, guys. It's so pretty. Mm. The only thing that would have made it better is if it had like a luminous finish to it, just because it's what I love. <laughs> but it is a very buildable formula. If you want to hear more of my thoughts on these, it's so pretty. That contour, though, is not it for me today. I don't know what's happening. Usually, I'm such a fan of those Patrick Ta contours, but today, today, I would say the Charlotte Tilbury is still winning because that Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, I don't think anything can touch it. I'm not going to lie. All right, let me spray my face again, and then we'll go back to probably the eyes, and then we'll finish off with the brows because... I'm so happy with the brow situation. So let's go back to the Rare Beauty palette. Karen, I don't know. Were you here? We found a multi-chrome in the Rare Beauty palette. Karen was the one that found it in the Juvia's Place palette. <laughs> the Wahala 2. Ah, ah, thank you, Sonal. Let's see. Do I think it would show up on darker skin tones? Are you talking about the Hermes blush? I think if you're deeper skin tone, these shades that I got will probably be too light. But I know, uh, let's see. I know Mo is waiting for hers. I think I saw Barbara from Arahi World. She posted her video, I think, today. I know Gigi's, Gigi's Beauty, she posted her video on those blushes. Yeah, 77 for the blush, 11K for the Birkin. Oh my God, the fucking... <laughs> The purse pouch, I cannot get over from Hermes. I'm just like, who is going to bring a purse pouch? Who is going to buy a $3,700 purse pouch? But you know damn well there's going to be some bougie bitch out there that will. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with the shade first. This is what I use on the outer corner. I do wish there was just a little bit more depth in here just for my liking. But I could obviously still make all of these shades work. And then I'm just going to marry these two together right here. Like, this look is nothing extraordinary, guys. But I think, I don't know, I guess I was just surprised. Which, I don't know why. Because I think Rare Beauty does such a great job for having good quality products for a good price. Especially for being at Sephora. And there's been products that I don't love from Rare Beauty, but I feel like they're pretty consistent across the board. I really like their packaging for the most part. This one, I'm just kind of like, it is what it is. I'm not like losing my shit over it, but I'm not mad about it either. It's just like your plastic packaging that looks like a soap dish, as we discussed earlier. <laughs> it totally does look like a soap dish, though. But I would say like, these are... These eyeshadows, though, are giving me very much, like, Selena vibes. And by that, I mean, like, a very, like, your skin natural... Not your skin. That's not the right word. Way to explain a fucking eyeshadow. It's like a effortlessly you type of a vibe, I feel, with this eyeshadow palette. Because it's like, I do feel like they do lack, lack some depth. See, I'm something's going out. Am I like having a stroke today? Cause I don't, it's like, I can't even think about the things that I'm saying. I just feel very off today. Something's going on with my brain. I think, Cause I'm all, all over the place. Oh my God. But yeah, I feel like these shadows just aren't, I don't know. I think, I think for what a lot of us are so used to and so used to seeing, especially nowadays, like the fact that I'm having to build these as much is kind of like, uh, okay, is this something that I would like lose my mind over right off the bat? I'm going to say no. I do think that this peach shade for me is, is not the best, but like the glitter, I like the glitter. I like the texture of the glitter. Like if you're into pressed glitters, I think that does look really pretty, but I don't think it's going to be a palette for those of you that like a really intense eyeshadow. It's going to be something for those people that want just something very natural. It's all right. That's all I'm going to say is it's all right. I'm not, I wasn't expecting anything crazy, but it is lacking a little bit from what I was expecting. I think, I think just because of what rave reviews I heard about the original eyeshadow palettes, you know, 
For real. This is unnecessary said Indy has us spoiled. I completely agree with that. Completely agree. I think what has me so distracted is how hot I am right now. <laughs> I am so on fire. And then I'm using my Huda Beauty. This is the Bomb Brows. I've talked about this so much. It's not even funny. But this is my favorite brow pencil I've literally ever used in my life. Hopefully I don't butcher my brows today. Because I, I don't really like doing brows on camera because it's so tedious. And it's like, okay, you get it. I'm just like tracing my brows, you know? And then I'm always known to like go almost like overboard with one brow and then I play the game of, okay, let's make this one look exactly like the other one, but it never happens because eyebrows, they're like distant cousins for me. This brow usually looks really good, and then the other brow I'm usually having to manipulate quite a bit more because this brow just has the shape that I like. But there, it's, there's something so unique about this pencil, though, because it's like, all right, it, yeah, they're... This is the problem with doing makeup live. I can never do it as good, I don't feel. <laughs> I'm like my own worst critic. I'm like, I feel like I look like shit when I do my makeup live. But back to the brow, it's like when you swatch this, it feels like it's so dry. But then on your brows, it just works so differently. You see how just easy it is? It just, it, it like astounds me every single time because it's like, when you do it on your hand, it's like, like it shows up a little bit, but not nearly as much. Like, I don't know, it just meshes with brows so nicely. All right, let's try to get this brow right now. This is where I get awkwardly silent because I'm trying to focus on what the hell I'm doing. What else do we got to talk about today? What's everybody's plans for the week? Buying my new first Alien Cosmetics palette. I have become an indie bridge. <laughs> I have yet to try indie. Or, I have yet to try Alien Cosmetics. Obviously, I've tried indie. See, this is, I'm like, guys, I'm like, I'm telling you, something's going on with my brain today. <laughs> oh, let's see. My left brow is my favorite, too. I don't even care about my right. Yeah, it's like. I feel like everybody has the one good brow and then the one that is questionable. And this is the one that's typically questionable, but I think this one's looking better than my than my normally preferred fave. But this is why I like this brow pencil. It's because it's like, it's, it's it just helps me get my brows done faster. You know? I'm here for it. Okay, so bomb brows. I actually might place another order for another one of these because I ran out of my other one. As soon as I got that one, which was perfect timing, but I just bought a Gucci eyebrow pencil for 35 bucks. It better perform miracles. <laughs> I have yet to try their eyebrow products, but I have heard that they're incredible. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. This is another one. It's all right. Like, I wish it gave me a little bit more, but I think that this gives a very natural looking like feathery brow. I do like it for this part right here, but it's like, I don't want to spend 20, I think it's $23, like $23 for a product just to like feather out, I don't even know what to call it, like the inner part of my brows. Little excessive, but I, I do like it. Like I could see this being a product like when I run out of it, I'm like, do I want to buy it again? And then I would buy something else and then come back to this. I could totally see that happening for me. So there's the brows. Not bad, but not the best. Oh, shit. Carrie ordered her first indie Club Nebula. Yes, Club Nebula is the bomb. It's such a good palette, but it's just a color story that I don't reach for all the time. But the quality of it is 10 out of 10. Let's see. Huda Brow is my new fave. Yes. This was me polling you the other day. I was delirious. That's exact. I just, I feel like... Something's up. <laughs> All right, let's go in with a crazy lip product, shall we? Let's go in. Where did it go? I picked up the Gucci Satin Lipstick in the shade Agatha Orange. I think it's going to probably clash with the, the look that we have going on on the eyeballs, but look at it. It's so pretty. It's so... 
It's so pretty. But this is a shade that I would literally only wear in spring and summer. Which is why I was like, all right, I just got to do it. I just got to get it. I'm not going to do a lip liner just because I really don't feel like it. And I also don't have anything as far as lip liner goes that would go with this. But tell me that that orange is not Gorgina right now. You can't. You can't. And it's just a comfortable formula. I love satin lipsticks in general, but I don't have anything in my collection like this. It gives the most beautiful like neon orange, but it doesn't make your teeth look yellow. They look white, right? I'm here for it. All right, let's go in with some mascara. I'm just going to use the Chantecaille, this crate. Oh my God. I was like so appalled when I first used this and saw how much this was. This mascara is like 70, I think it's like $75. I would love for my mom to try this though. Like my mom, she wears mascara every single day. This is literally the only type of makeup product that she uses but this is supposed to help your lashes grow. And since I haven't been using it every day, I don't think I'm going to be one to notice it, but I need to start, you know, right? You guys like the lip product. It's so pretty. I promise I'll do better looks in the future. Cause I, I feel like this look, it's like fine, but it's definitely not giving it to me as far as like the look that I had envisioned. <laughs> I can't lie. I will say though, I do feel glitter in my eye. Which I came from like an all-star cheerleader background. I'm so used to getting glitter in my eye. But I have very sensitive eyes. And I could feel it. I could feel that I have glitter in there. So you probably do want to use a... Either a glitter glue or something like that. But I feel like a lot of people, that's going to probably be a turn off. Because I thought, honestly, I thought it was a metallic. I did not think it was a pressed glitter. That's one thing that's so hard about, like, product pictures. Is sometimes it's very hard to tell, like, what, what different types of formulas things are. I'm sure if I actually looked into it, I probably would have figured out that it was a pressed glitter. But do I use anything to keep my teeth super white? I use the Crest White Strips from time to time. And then I use the Crest, like, 3D whitening toothpaste. That's literally all that I do, and I brush my teeth morning and night. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know how I feel about this look right now as far as, like, the eyeshadows, they're very soft. I'm glad that the price point, though, is only at, like, 29 bucks because it's still cute. I like that it's got the glitter in there. But I got hella glitter in my eye right now, especially this eye. Um... The mattes, they look nice, but I do have other mattes that blend a little bit better and a little bit easier than this one does. The packaging is cute. It's got this, like, dish sort of a moment to it. Um, what else? Let's run through everything that I got. The pore filler primer from Rare I think is nice. I don't think it's going to, like, take the place of anything that I have, but if you're looking for a pore filler primer, this one for a mini, it's a decent price for a good quality product, I feel. So that one, so far, I think it's nice. Um, the Shiseido foundation i'm looking at it like i don't think it's anything extravagant i'd be curious to see how it lasts over time doing like a wear test or something like that however the only thing that makes me nervous with this is the spf 30 which knowing me i shouldn't have bought it that's just a thing because i always want to take pictures when i have makeup on and i don't want to have the flashback so that's just one thing to keep in mind um, I forgot to use it. I need to take this out of my thumbnail because I did forget to use this. I think this brush for contour is fantastic. It reminds me a lot of like the NARS Eda brush that I always rave about. It just, it fits perfectly in like the contours of my face and it just, I don't know, it gives me a really beautiful natural looking contour, but I only like to use this one. I've only used it for the powder formula. I haven't used it for the cream. So I do need to try it for the cream, but I don't like to mix like creams and powders with one with one brush, you know what I'm saying? So this brush, I do think is worth it. I think it's fantastic. It's just I forgot to use it today because I'm a space cadet. The Gucci bronzer, I really like this. I really like the shade. I like that it gives a skin-like finish to it. 
The Rose Hermes blushes I think are beautiful, but they're hella expensive. What else? Patrick Ta Contour Duos. Like, I'm telling you, I have used this so many times now, and today was the first time that I'm like, what's happening there? I only notice it right here. So I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep using it, but I like the fact that it's got the packaging where it divides the powder from the cream. I like that it's got the contour and the bronzer in one. Maybe it's because I didn't use it together is why I'm not loving it so much, but I don't feel like that should be a thing. Like, you should be able to use them individually as well. The Tower 28 bronzers, I think these are fantastic. It's just going to depend on your skin tone. I was hoping that Suncoast would show up a little bit better as a highlight, but I also didn't expect it to just because it's a bronzer technically. So those products I still really like, but West Coast is my favorite. The brow products, I really like both. The bomb brows, it's incredible. And then the legendary brows, I'm like, it's fine. But I think I could probably live without it, except for I really like it for like the inner parts of my brows to give that feather effect. What else? What else did I get? The Gucci lipstick. I think this is a beautiful formula, beautiful shade. It's perfect for spring. I didn't get any new mascara or anything like that. I think that's everything. Oh, the Makeup Geek brush. I'm still, I'm still like warming up to this, but I don't really foresee it becoming a favorite. I hope that they do more brushes just to, I don't know. I, I was kind of surprised to see this brush and this more like rounded one. I did not like this. This is like way too dense and it's almost like too big for what I look for. I need to try this though with foundation because maybe I'll prefer it better for foundation. But I was surprised to see Makeup Geek launch two brushes. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I like, I knew there were brushes coming, but I wasn't expecting them yet. I was expecting like a whole brush range. You know what I'm saying? So overall, I'm still like happy with everything that I got. Oh, and the hourglass, the hourglass cream blush. I really like the shade of this. I think just the formula isn't going to be my favorite, but I'll keep you guys posted. I'll probably do a Sephora haul follow up in like a month from now. And I'll just kind of keep using the products, let you guys know my thoughts and opinions on the makeup products. I feel like everything else that I got, maybe aside from like two other things, are like hair products. I'll keep you guys all posted in a future video though. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm sorry I was like all over the place. I don't know what's up with me today. I think a part of it is because I'm hot, like abnormally hot right now. I was going to put lashes on, but I'm like, no, I just, I don't like, I look at my face right now and I'm like, I don't love this. I don't love the whole overall vibe and I'm just not feeling it. And sometimes that's just reality and that's okay because I'm going to go up and wash this off right now and then I'm going to get in the shower and hopefully cool down. <laughs> so if you guys did enjoy this, I hope you did. I hope I touched on everything and my thoughts on everything, but I feel like overall I did a pretty good job at finding products that I thought were really good, but then there are products that I'm just like, why? Why did I do this? Like, even this one, I'm like, why? <laughs> but I, I don't know. It's just, I can't wait to try. I can't wait to try this one because it looks truly stunning. So maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised the next time I use it. Maybe I'll, you know what? I'll wear this tomorrow. I'll wear this for new makeup releases and I'll wear that the multi-chrome, I'll wear that all over my lid tomorrow. So if you guys want to see that on my eyes, tune in tomorrow. I'll be back at like 4 or 4.30. Let's lean more towards 4.30 for a new makeup releases, yes or yawn. And that will be the plan. So other than that, if you guys did like it, don't forget to thumbs it up or thumbs it down if you don't like it. If you were hate watching, I appreciate you too. And I will see you guys in my next one. Okay, bye!